time to stop text messaging on that BlackBerry. It's the ATS News. Hi, everybody. I'm Johnny Anonymous. Let's see what's been garnering a lot of attention at America's favorite number one conspiracy website in the world, AboveTopSecret.com. Meet the planet Korot-EXO-3B. It orbits a star slightly larger, hotter, and brighter than our very own sun. Now, the star is not really unusual in any shape or way, but the planet is definitely weird. It orbits the star in just over four days, which makes it a very close orbit. For comparison, Jupiter takes 12 years to circle the sun just once. Mercury takes 88 days. What's even more bizarre is that it has about the same diameter of Jupiter, but has over 21 times the mass of Jupiter. This makes this planet denser than lead. This is by far the most massive planet ever found so close to its parent star. And just to give you one last idea of the density of this planet, if you or I were to stand on this planet, we would weigh over 9,000 pounds. And here I was just worried about gaining a few extra pounds over the holidays. ATS member Pax Natus recently posted a thread in the Science Forum entitled Scientific Link to Autism Identified. Now in this thread, according to an article found at the biomedicine.org, a New Jersey think tank called the Center for Modeling Optimal Outcomes has made claims to an amazing discovery which is that based on readily verifiable science, the use of glycine triggers an imbalance between the amino acid neurotransmitters responsible for the absorption rate of certain classes of cells throughout the body, the result being the possible increase in autism. Now, according to this article, if it hadn't been for so many parents insisting that vaccines were responsible for the condition, we might not never have found the fact that the stabilizer in MMR and a few other vaccines is hydrolyzed gelatin, a substance that is approximately 21% glycine. A number of members, including the original thread poster, have children that they believe were directly affected by the use of these FDA-approved vaccines. Many ATS members offer their support and advice and would like to ask you to also become better familiar and informed so that one day we can lower the number of people that are afflicted with autism. Hmm. That's good. You know, sometimes said to be the water of life, it is the liquid that is essential to our everyday life. We can go many days without food, but water we need on a daily basis. So with all this intake of water, it's obvious that the cleaner the water, the better it is for your system. But is your drinking water safe? Well, according to a thread posted by Coron Zoon, it's not safe at all. And he has posted up a number of links to back up this claim. From articles from the EPA and a number of other agencies, you might be surprised as to just what is in that precious glass of H2O. And one of the more interesting links is the one that lets you check on what contaminants and chemicals you are drinking. I personally found out that the water I drink has 32 contaminants that we're at 32% higher levels than what is considered a safe level for human consumption. And if you think bottled water is any better, well then you just need to think again. The information linked in this ATS article just might save your life. Well, this certainly has been an exciting year for global warming, has it? With hackers breaking into central data facilities and leaking out emails and info, and then the discovery of real climate data being destroyed in the movement from one building to another. Now we have claims of a new secret draft agreement worked on by a group of individuals known as the Circle of Commitment, which is supposedly drafted by the Danish, but also include the UK and the USA. You may recall in several ATS News episodes back that we spoke of the creation of a world governing body that has been proposed to control the global carbon emissions and in this leaked document it does appear that this draft hands effective control 
of climate change finance to the World Bank and would indeed abandon the Kyoto Protocol. According to an article from the UK, one senior diplomat suggested that this to be a very dangerous document for developing countries. It is a fundamental reworking of the UN balance of obligations. It is to be superimposed without discussion of any talks whatsoever. Our thanks to ATS member Comp underscore UK that brought this to our attention and has posted links to the leaked document for us to consider. He also has another thread featuring a very interesting video entitled Nick Griffin Covers Climate Gate and Denounces the NWO Scam. It will be interesting to see how this information, along with the previous release of earlier hacked emails on climate data being tampered with, will affect the Copenhagen summit. What on earth was that strange phenomena that was viewed by hundreds of witnesses in the early morning skies over Norway? Well, conjecture abounds and theories are being thrown by our ATS membership, which include a failed Russian rocket launch, UFOs, a byproduct of the Hadron Collider, Project Bluebeam, a Norwegian version of HARP, a scalar wave plasma weapon opening up a vortex to a wormhole. From a loose Norwegian translation from a newspaper article, we learned that it is being described as a glowing ball in the sky which rotated and threw out luminous rings. The phenomena grew rapidly into a spiral until it eventually was significantly larger than the moon and other things in the sky. The whole incident lasted really only just about under a minute. Then the spiral collapsed, leaving a dark circular hole in the night sky. Our members immediately went into research mode to try to uncover what on earth this phenomena might be. ATS member Eraserer offered this. Both the Norwegian military and the Russian embassy have denied any knowledge of what may have caused this phenomena. What they also don't tell you, he added, is that a harp equivalent known as Ice Cat is situated in the northern part of Norway. It is rarely, if ever, mentioned in the media, and most Norwegians are completely unaware of it. Oz Weatherman contacted a gentleman at an atmospheric optics facility where he theorized with this. My impression is that it could be a rocket event where fuel or other material is being vented and catching the high altitude sunlight. Now, this theory may actually hold some weight as member spirit underscore horse posted up a link with this, a notification of the Russian rocket launch of NAVTEX. The rocket has exploded and the spiral we are seeing is nothing more than residual fuel being reflected by sunlight. Now, this does sound plausible and many members though were still not convinced and member Zentex even linked to a Norwegian newspaper where the Russian Northern Fleet told them when asked if this was a Russian rocket, we have no information about such a thing and have never seen anything like what you have described, said a spokesman for the Northern Fleet. Koyans Katsi, and I apologize if I mispronounce that name, thinks that it might be a combination of two things, a rocket and the ice cat slash harp. He believes based on past experiments that the ice cat launched a rocket to seed an electromagnetic effect in the ionosphere, thus creating a hole in the electromagnetic field high up in the atmosphere. We know that the official front for the ice cat slash harp radar is to study the ionosphere and the aurora borealis, which of course is the northern lights. Now, whatever the official word turns out to be, this has to be truly one of the most bizarre, if not beautiful visual displays for those that got a chance to witness it. After eight months of careful excavation, archaeologists in Peru have discovered what is thought to be the sacred temple of Nalamp. The clues they followed during the eight months of excavation included the discovery of multicolored depiction scenes of human sacrifices in which armed warriors were carrying decapitated heads. Researchers now think that the temple has a direct relationship with Nalamp, a mysterious figure who, according to legend, arrived covered in feathers from birds from a distant tropical land and then rebuilt the civilization in that region. The temple is located next to the Kornakap 
Pyramid, which is just one of hundreds of the towering pyramids that are strewn along the longest artificial water channels in the world. Our thanks to ATS member Black Marketeer for bringing this article to our attention. In our last episode, we talked about implantable chips being deeply buried in the health care bill, which is now, of course, being debated on the Senate floor. Well, if you haven't had your fill on RFID chips, here comes one last little tidbit of news. A Saudi inventor has put an application to the German patent office for his killer chip, as the Swiss tabloids have been calling it. Fortunately, this has been denied by the German's patent authorities. The inventor said that the chip could be used to track terrorists, criminals, fugitives, illegal immigrants, political dissidents, domestic servants, and foreigners that have overstayed their visa. His device would have consisted of a tiny GPS transceiver, which is placed in a capsule and then inserted under a person's skin, so that the authorities could then easily track this person, although it has one other bonus feature a lethal dose of cyanide to remotely kill the implanted wearer without fuss or muss, if authorities, of course, deemed it necessary that perhaps they had become a threat to their country. Well, I guess we should all be glad that this didn't get a patent, as that would certainly throw a monkey rich in one's vacation planning, now wouldn't it? Well, folks, that's going to do it for all of us here at the staff at ATS News. We thank you for joining us and hope that you will do so again. Remember that if it's not at AboveTopSecret.com, then it probably doesn't matter. We'll catch you next time. Take care.